distinguished guests, fellow veterans, ladies and gentlemen. When Tom Berrigan phoned me and asked that I deliver this keynote address, I wondered, why me? I'm not a public office holder. I am not a decorated war hero. I am not a member of the committee that worked so long and hard on this memorial. In fact, I am one of the doubting many that worried that this day would not ever arrive. And at times in my meanest and most frustrated moments, when thinking about this monument, I refer to it as Berrigan's folly. So why did they pick me? Tom Berrigan answered my question of why me very simply. He said, Cam, we chose you because you are a veteran. I think they picked me because I'm an average veteran, an average everyday veteran. I am like many Iron Range men and women who served in the United States military when called to duty. They picked me, an average guy and an average veteran, because this memorial is dedicated to average Iron Range men and women who did their duty in service to their country. Duty that cost some of them their lives, and some of them their limbs, and some of them their minds. The idea of cost and human suffering of Iron Rangers for freedom is depicted by Mr. Andrew's awe-inspiring sculpture behind me. Yes, all of the average who have served stand tall, especially under the protective wings of the American spirit depicted by this massive eagle. Also resting under her wings and unseen by our human eyes are the many tears shed by our loved ones in their worrying moments as they wait for word of their loved one's safety. They who wait for us, those average Americans, those wives, mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters, all average people serve also and stand tall, unseen under this eagle's wings. I was wrong to doubt the significance of this memorial. This memorial was meant to be here and is a special place for us to remember service to this country by average Iron Range people whom we love. This monument will remind us to go forward in service to our fellow Americans. So ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to represent the Iron Range veteran every man today at this dedication. This memorial is a spiritual representation of the idea of what service to our country in the military means. Moreover, the ideals of military service are, pre are represented by three values that make America great. Those three values will flourish if we remember them each time we look upon this place. And each time we teach those values to our children and grandchildren. We are better people for doing this. Honor Guard members, like those of us assembled here today, know these three values well. We know them because we celebrate them at each veteran's funeral during military rites. The three values are represented by three volleys of rifle fire at each veteran's funeral. The first vo volley stands for duty. The duty that we all share to serve our country in military service or otherwise when called. Further, we have the duty to serve as a veteran, to aid other veterans needing help as well as their families. And we have a duty to remind the public body of the importance of military service to our country. The second volley stands for honor. We are honored to serve our country, and we are honored to serve after active duty as a veteran. Further, it is our responsibility to be honorable veteran men and women, to serve as examples for those that follow us. For we must have those that come next to keep our country safe and strong. The third volley stands for country, the United States of America, the greatest country on earth. I believe this volley represents the love each veteran has for this country, and that love is exemplify, exemplified by each veteran's willingness to serve. Three values, duty, honor, country, to remember today as we dedicate this memorial, and to remember in the future when looking on this place. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been patient with me. Let me leave you with one final thought. 
The American Eagle spirit represented behind me knows a few things that we should also remember going forward from here. And those things she knows, I think were also known by the committee that finished this project. She knows that. Imagination is stronger than knowledge. That dreams are more powerful than facts. That hope always triumphs over experience. That laughter is the only cure for grief. And that love is stronger than death. Thank you for the love you show for veterans today. God bless you all.